very sad news in the NBA family. Aaron Popovich, the wife of San Antonio Spurs head coach Greg Popovich, died early Wednesday, the team announced. She was 67 and had been battling an illness for an extended period. The couple had been married for four decades and had two children, Jill and Mickey, as well as two grandchildren. Spurs general manager R.C. Buford said, we mourn the loss of Aaron. She was a strong, wonderful, kind, intelligent woman who provided love, support, and humor to all of us. Max, I know how fondly you think of Pop both on and off the court. Yeah, this is, you know, watching everyone on TV talk about this, people seem at a loss for words, and you have to comment somehow. And it just struck me that we all feel as though we know Greg Popovich, not only because he's been coaching for decades and so successful, but because of what he's, what he's, the stances he's taken and the leadership he's shown on social issues about the, the direction our country is headed in, the press conference he's given, even when we feel he's going back and forth with reporters, sometimes unfairly, he's shown us sides of himself we feel like we know him and so now this character in our lives loses someone close to him and we make assumptions about that person because she was the wife of greg popovich though before that moment we didn't know who she was or that she was sick or anything and and so i think it's twofold one that we make assumptions about the special kind of person she must have been and then also grieve, really, for Greg Popovich, because we feel like we know him. And so everyone says the same thing, thoughts and prayers. But I think that's what we're feeling. You know, if you know anything about Greg Popovich, I mean, he's an incredibly private man uh, who is all about family, all about family. I mean, when you think about the Spurs and the players who have played for him, they'd be the first to tell you that because obviously up close and personal they know him in ways that most of us never will um, I've had the pleasure of knowing him just a little bit throughout the years because of his long-standing relationship with coach Larry Brown and I remember one time we were in Utah and I'm walking in a hotel room and Greg Popovich actually invites me to come sit down and have lunch with him uh, while they were having a playoff series uh, against the San Antonio Spurs and he and I sat there for a while and talked about a lot of things at that particular moment in time. I'm thinking about members of the Philadelphia 76ers organization under the Larry Brown era uh, that all loved him dearly because obviously as an extension of Larry Brown, they knew him very well. Um, even to, to guys like that, that handles travel, that was the equipment manager, Al, you know, uh, Al Lumpkin and those guys, they all know him very, very well. And we all say the same thing. Uh, no matter how abrasive at times he comes across, uh, Greg Popovich is a tremendous, tremendous man. He's a good man who loves the people that he loves. His inner circle is very, very tight, but if you're there, he loves you and he loves you dearly and he treats you accordingly. Um, and to know that there's probably nobody that he felt that way in terms of love, that he felt that way about more so than a, than a wife that he had been married to for four decades, imagining that she's no longer going to be with him. You can only imagine the pain uh, that he's going through right now. So my heart goes out to him. Uh, his children, his family, the Spurs organization, the Spurs family. Uh, it's an incredible, incredible loss because obviously Greg Popovich would be one of the first to tell you part of the reason why he is who he is, being as great as he is, was due in large part because of her presence yeah. in his life. So it has to be devastating, and my prayers are with him and his family. Forty-plus years, that's something special. We wish them all peace and comfort during this very difficult time.